Okay, yeah, well don't worry. So what I'll do is for a cinematic. So today, everyone, we've got a cooking lesson. We've got a cooking lesson. Now I'm not going live yet. It's, I need to get you into it. Okay. <laughs> Are you happy to go live on yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. Fine, right. So Joe, just put that on you, and Amber, just put that on. That's you, and that's you. Mm -hmm. Just stick that on. Yeah, for now. Lovely. And of course, I'll still keep this on because I don't want to make a mess of myself. Take my jumper off. Yeah. Take yeah, and then. A lot more sleeves to go and then I've got this lot, Queen in the Kitchen, look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Queen in the Kitchen, <laughs> so No, no so Joe, sure. no Joe, Joe. Look what Joe's doing, it goes down here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long go. lesson. Yeah, right there, Amber? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, yeah? Go ahead. okay. Right, okay, so what we're going to do is I want you to wash the meat, the, cut, the goat first, because that's, and we've got to prepare the goat first because that's going to take the longest. Yeah? yeah, so yeah. we need to get that out of the way. Um, let me let me get all the ingredients out that we're, we're going to use. I know you like the mac and cheese and everything. <laughs> so get a bowl out to wash the meat right, and some vinegar. <laughs> So you do the goat, what we'll do then is Lovely. Do you wanna bring wash the yeah, if you wash it where's your no problem, you Yeah, wash wash it first. Yeah, wash Have you got it. any vinegar? Oh, no. Lemon. Lemon. Got some, so just just don't open it up. Tonight, don't <laughs> we want to eat tonight, don't we? We want to eat tonight, don't we? Well, now you'll see what I go through. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. I don't know how you actually yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. You'll see. The so many people as well. Yeah, right, you'll so. see what I do. You'll see what I do. So, what you do is wash it with a bit, put vinegar on it, put water on it, and then rinse it off. Yeah. Hello, you all right? Yeah, all good. Good. Is that that's enough? it. Yeah, that's enough. Just and uh, make sure you rinse it off. With well, that looks so tasty. And then just yeah, just, move it around just wash it, yeah, yeah, you've got washing the meat. That's it. And that, wash your goat. Oh. Yeah, just give it a nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, show it love. We sing to it normally. La la la. <laughs> yeah, we sing to it. <laughs> That's, That's it. Going on, really, yeah, we? we are going to put some music on in a minute. I've just got to. Um, we can do it when we do go live, but nice. we'll stick it on. Um, oh my god, that looks so good. That's it. Proper, proper meat. Yeah, proper go. <laughs> They're wrong timing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now rinse it off with more water, and then we can. Mm. We, we're good to go. I'm just pouring it over. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. So, of course, due to the copyright infringements, I am unable to play the music and Judy Boucher, I love you loads. Anyway, um, so as you can see, I've got a little contraption there. I got that little chopper from a charity shop because I really do believe in supporting charities. 
So I got it brand new and it chops up everything nice and fine. Joe and Amber's uh, cooking lesson was a present from Joe's mum and uh, they actually went to Thailand. So they couldn't do it until after Christmas, but they, as you will see, took to this like a duck to water and of course they're in their adidas jamaican tracksuits so <laughs> they were really geared up for this lesson so as you can see i'm just getting everything sorted out and amber is actually going to make season up the goat and joe is going to season up the jerk chicken and i'm just getting them like as you can see getting them all prepared Okay, so now all I need is for Amber and Joe to chop up the scallion, the scotch bonnet, and of course the spring onions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to marinate that into the chicken mix and the goat mix. Oh, we had so much fun. I'm just crushing the garlic, showing them how to crush the garlic ready to put into my chopper and of course the scotch bonnet and uh, amber no we don't need the garlic skin in there we just need the actual garlic <laughs> as you can see we've had a lot of fun with this lesson always have a lot of fun in lessons you have to cooking has to be made fun or else it's so it can be tedious so you've got to make it fun <laughs> Right, so as you can see, I've got the scotch bonnet. I'm going to chop all of this scotch bonnet up. And when you're using scotch bonnet, it's always better if you can still use gloves uh, when you're chopping up scotch bonnet because if it gets under your nails, even when you wash your hands, that scotch bonnet scent flavor is still on your fingers but we're going to get my little um chopper ready to go and get amber and joe to um give it a good a, a nice good fine chop this is so brilliant i would strongly suggest if anyone wants one of these definitely get one of these because it you can put all sorts of seasoning and all sorts of um yeah just you can put anything in it and just chop it up nice and fine and it's great especially if you're making pasta and you want a nice garlic flavor and uh yeah so i would definitely suggest that people um if you haven't got one of these definitely get one right so after joe especially joe enjoyed that chopper as you saw <laughs> um i have now got them to get their meats ready so that we can start seasoning up the chicken and seasoning up the goat Okay, so now we're just going to inspect the goat. We need to make sure that the goat is all chopped at the same size so that it cooks at the same rate. Right, so Amber's adding the goat into the bowl and we're going to start adding the seasoning. There's so much that goes into making Caribbean food. It's, it takes longer to prep everything and it still takes quite a long time to cook everything. <laughs> but it's quicker to eat everything. <laughs> So what we've done now is we've added the curry powder to the goat and then we're going to add the garlic, the scallion and the scotch bonnet to this actual mix and leave it for at least 20 minutes just to marinate in. Don't give them stuff you wouldn't buy. I just think that. Yeah. yeah. Right, so your curry goat, you need you just need one of those, Amber. Yeah, I'm one scale. Oh, look at that. So we're going to marinate that all in and we're going to put the lid on the top of that. We're not going to cook this straight away, but this smells delicious. 
So we got some pre-chopped scallion and onions and Amber is just mixing that in nice and gently. These two made absolutely amazing students. They really, really listened and took note. So now it's time to add a little bit of pimento. Now I only need for this curry goat one teaspoon of pimento. So as you will see, Joe is adding his pimento, his spring onions and his chopped garlic and scotch bonnet. And then he's adding the jerk seasoning and of course he loves it spicy. And then we're going to add the barbecue sauce for the chicken. This is barbecued jerk chicken. And then of course we add the bay leaves. So as you see, we just pour the rice into the pots, give it a wash until it's nice and clear. Yeah. Yeah. Smell that. Ooh. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> look at that. That's, doesn't that look good? Look what Amber did. <laughs> yeah. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> so, so, so. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah. So you need a wooden spoon? Yeah. So what I'm going to get Amber to do now is to cook the goat uh, in a pan and there's no oil in the pan we're just using natural uh, meat fat from the goat and then we will sear it for a little while pour some hot water in there with a stock cube and leave it to cook for two and a half hours before we start adding the chopped up potatoes later and then we'll thicken the gravy up after So Joe and Amber absolutely enjoyed cooking with one love together. So as you can see, it's just slightly searing this meat. You do not need any oil. So the stock is done and it's ready to pour over the meat and we'll leave the meat in for two and a half hours and we're ready to go. So Joe absolutely loves his jerk chicken and he's seasoning that all ready to put into the oven. And as you as you saw, it's um it's a lot more work goes into making jerk chicken. So as you can see, Amber's setting her timer for her curry goat. And we leave that on for two and a half hours, but we do check on it to make sure that the water has not dried out. So Joe and Amber absolutely love mac and cheese and they use two types of cheeses. You do extra matured and of course Gloucester cheese and then make a creamy sauce with that. So now we're uh, prepping the plant in to fry and uh, Joe's cutting it nice and equal so that it all cooks at the same rate. So as you can see, Joe is frying the plant in and using his fingers. No, Joe, we use a knife and we will flip the plant in with the knife, not your fingers, Joe. <laughs> You know what, they made really, really good students, these two, and they had a dinner party for 11 people and they made this meal and it was, it went down a storm. So hats off, they listened and they paid attention and there's, there you go, look at that, true love, cooking with one love. So the planting's all nice and golden brown. We're gonna plate it up, get some paper towel and get rid of some excess oil on that. Oh, yeah. Master of a fryer. So you're not going to air fryer then? 
I would get one too. Yeah. So that's without an air fryer as well. So when I get that. Yeah, the air fryer. Is that nice I would get one real soon. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'll burn my mouth. Just, just, so Joe and Amber are trying the planting and I've suggested they try a little bit of cinnamon on there and uh, they actually quite like the cinnamon, but um, I think they like Caribbean food in general anyway. Well, this cooking lesson was a lot of fun and they did enjoy, like I say, they did enjoy trying something new on their planting. And that's what it's about. Cooking is about expressing yourself and teaching cooking and watching how my students use my techniques and obviously the recipes and share it with others is, is one of the most beautiful things ever. These guys used to order food from me all the time when I had the catering business and they absolutely smashed this lesson. Took note little glitches here and there but they absolutely took note and absolutely loved it and I really really I'm probably going to have them back doing another uh, show with me just for free because these guys were really really taking note and they loved it I hope you enjoyed this vlog and like share and subscribe and I hope to see you very soon with some more cooking with one love